Out to my girl, home girl, Katie Houston, live at Progressive Field. Uh, listen, I know it's cold out there. You got some hot cocoa, coffee, something helping. They're taking care of us. Oh, okay. They're taking care of us, cool. T. We're good. Yeah, no complaints. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm good. Um, yes, today clearly one of the colder home openers here in the CLE, but it's nothing we're not used to. The E-Team's John Kosick joins us as well out here live at Progressive Field. Kind of looking back, John, a retrospective of uh, the weather on opening day here. Yeah, we call it the home opener, but there have been plenty of years where snow opener would have been a better <laughs> term for it when you could have got into the ballpark with either a game ticket or a lift ticket. <laughs> In 2016, the home opener had to be scheduled twice after not snow but ice caused the first one to be postponed at the fans heading for home. Call it the Groundhog Day version of opening day. Still, some fans were smiling and then at the thought that tomorrow I get to do it again. Yes, when it comes to opener weather, we know to expect warm sunshine or snow for an opening day. It can and has gone either way. It is unfortunately the latter that sticks in our mind when we're cold and confined to seats and dress more suited for skiing that after a few hours, as most fans agreeing, being frozen is something that they're no longer into. This is by far the worst game that I've ever been to. That year was 2007 when the snows fell from the heavens and forced delay after delay before that game was finally called for the day. Still fans waited it out, choosing to think only of the good, as I found them finding false senses of warmth wherever they could. So, so what is it? It's the oven. It's something for the stove to make you it. You got heated seats here? I have heated seats. <laughs> Were they working? Uh, no. <laughs> There's nothing mysterious. Cold can make you delirious. But much like they say, it's good luck when it rains on the day of your wedding. Both the years we showed you were the ones where the tribe ended up heading deep into the playoffs in search of a title. So maybe a little cold is ultimately vital to firing the team, the fans, and removing all doubt. This is the year we end the game's longest World Series drought. And we got Katie some of those special heated seats this year. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> That opener back in 2007, the whole weekend got snowed out. And that's why I think T.S. Eliot was right when he said April is the cruelest month. Oh, my goodness. Hey, side note, I just found this out from talking to John. Exciting day because it's the home opener. It's also his 13th yes. anniversary here at Channel 5 News. Today is a day, he said. How about so that? Double whammy. We appreciate you and your rhyming on your anniversary, <laughs> too. All right, John Kosick, thank you so much.